Ah, yes. Uh... Okay, welcome to the Beer Show, but today on the show, we have got the latest Cooper's 2024 Vintage Owl Seasonal Release called Cooper's Vintage Owl 2024 Seasonal Release. Now, this is a yearly little uh, seasonal release, hence the name, seasonal release. They've been doing it for the last 24-ish years, give or take, and every year they sort of tweak the, um, they tweak the recipe so as to not be making the same beer each year. Now, I've had a few over the years, one or two of them, can't really remember them, I've had a lot, a lot of beers, but Cooper's has a reputation for making some of the best beers in the world. I've been smashing, hold out, hold up. These guys, the Cooper's Dark Ale, the last, uh, over the winter months, it's one of the best beers in the world, and a uh, popular hashtag is, put them in cans, because they can only come in bottles, and they, maybe they'll listen to me, but anyways, Cooper's Green, should always be seen, that's another crack of beer, so, anyways, let's just get into one of these, the Cooper's Vintage Owl 2024 Seasonal Release, so what have we got? Um, uh, it's... That bloke kind of looks like me, a bit. Uh, Dr. Thomas Cooper, isn't it? Yeah, Dr. Tim Cooper. Chief, oh, he's a chief brewer. But then the original guy was fucking, I don't know, it's family owned, it's like one of the oldest breweries in the, the uh, world in Australia. Still made in, um, at the Regency Park down in South Australia. So, with Coopers, you know, you see like, the, you buy one at the bar, they always do that. There is a reason, they're not just trying to fucking, like, scam you out of some sort of, like, a bet. But you do that, it re fucking invigorates all the shit that sits on the bottom. If you just drink it without doing that, you get all the shit on the bottom. But if you do it, it re fucking makes it better. So, anyways, what's it said? It's seven and a half percent. That's right. It's a two point one cent drink. I've got tomorrow off work, so that doesn't matter. Um, and you should too. Um, anyways, so there we go. It says Cooper on there, and now it says for best um thing. It says something about. Putting it in a, a stemmed glass. Now, I've only got a Choda stemmed glass, so um, I really should have got more prepared on that one, but does it does it really matter what the fucking... Like, you could drink this out of a sippy cup. I've drunk out of other... Th like, anyways. Professional beer reviews here at Marty's Beer Show. So, look at that. So, that glass is about the same size as the bottle. 300 and something odd mils. Uh, these are very hard to find. Those came out the other day. And by the other day, I don't actually know, but I got my little uh, mill cellars on the Gold Coast. I always have my little specially craft beers. So um, let's just give it a go of the 2024 seasonal release of Cooper's Vintage Ale. Here we go. Oh, that is unreal. It doesn't quite have the full, like, dark dark bodiness of the dark ale. Like it's got a bit more of a, I don't know if it's like the, the, strong, the strong, the alcohol, the alcoholic venture. Cause seven and a half percent compared to, I should have had one, I drank all these, so I don't have any. Four and a half percent dark house. This comes out at like three percent more. So that's a fair bit. So you can kind of, you can get that zappiness of the alcohol, whereas a lot of um. So maybe some of these craft beers, it hides it pretty well. This does have a tang of the um, the alcohol, but it's got a bit of a, a lightness to it, almost like a um, some sort of what do we got? The Cooper's malt, seasonal hops, cherished ale yeast. I don't know. I hope they're, I hope they're going to give some keywords to say, but they didn't. So I just got to make it up. Tastes good. Tastes kind of light. A bit lighter than like the best extra stout, you know, the yellow bottles. A bit lighter, a bit less malty than the dark ale. Very bitey though. It's got the bite of the, uh, again, I don't have it. You know, the red cans, sparkling ale. It's got that sort of a bite to it. It's fucking good. Ten thumbs up. Two, ten out of, two thumbs up. Anyways. It won't be long for it won't be long for a while. It won't be around for long, but it does say on the bottle to like leave it for like till clear cellaring will develop the flavours over the next three to five years. I have very high doubts this is gonna last three to five years in my uh 
in the fridge. Maybe I will put one away. Maybe I'll check it next year. Anyways, there you go. 2024 Vintage Ale seasonal release from Cooper's Martin's Beer Show. Go check it out. It won't be there forever. And if you miss out, just wait till I'm fucking next year. Better than watching the Olympics. Anyway, thanks for watching Beer Show. Like and subscribe so I can keep these fucking lights on. Go check out my other videos. If you want me to check out a beer that you've made or that you like, I will. I might do that. Let me know in the comments below. You. Wait. Wait. That's how it goes. Most Beer Show.